All right, so I'm going to try to talk loud enough. I'm hoping that the microphone is going to pick up my voice. But um, that's not a good sign right there. I'm actually going to uh, repeat myself after I perform the deadlift. I'm going to perform the deadlift using a standard bar. Um, usually when I perform the deadlift, I will use an Olympic bar. But I'm not going to move that Olympic bar off of the bench. So I'm going to use a standard bar, which will get the job done as well. When you're performing the deadlift, you have to do the same thing similar to what you would do when you would do the bench press. You have to prep yourself mentally and physically and load yourself into position before you execute the lift. So you will make sure that the area around you is clear, that the floor is as even as it can be, that there's no um, structures or anything that would interfere with your lift. So in that way, when you're executing the lift, the bar will come up clear with a bunch of clearance. You know you won't hit anything that's around you. So in that way, it won't throw you off balance. So when you first step up to the bar, and when I'm stepping up to the bar right now, I'm already visualizing myself performing the lift. As I step up to the bar, I'm getting my foot in, my foot position into place, which is just about shoulder width. As far as my hand positioning, I'm going to use a, um, what is called a mixed grip. I'll show you when I get the camera a little bit closer exactly what the mixed grip is. And like I said, once I get myself into position, I have my grip ready. I already know where my hands are going to be positioned on the bar. I bend down, grab the bar, and lift. With my knees mostly trying to keep my back straight, I'll also try to drag the bar along my body. Squeezing a little bit at the top. Keeping my head straight ahead. Okay. So, a couple of things. I have horrible knees. My knees are literally bone on bone. <clears throat> as far as the left knee, it's actually off slightly. It's not even aligned properly. So bending down and lifting is extremely hard for me. When you perform the deadlift, the deadlift is probably one of the most, I would describe it as a very violent lift. Um, as you saw that when I went out first approached the bar and when I bent down to pick it up, I immediately picked it up off the floor. If you're bending at the knees in order to execute the deadlift, it's not a good idea to stay in that bent position for too long because you want to have an immediate explosion in order to execute the lift. So when you bend down and when you grip the bar, you already have to have a game plan in your head to um, execute that lift. You don't want to stay down, especially for me, like I said, somebody with bad knees. You don't want to really stay in that squatted position for too long because the longer you stay squatted, your joints, your ligaments, everything is going to get settled and it's going to be really hard to now not only lift the bar, but also lifting yourself from a uh, settled position. Another thing that you may have noticed, you might have seen that I was wearing extremely long support socks. The reason why I'm wearing the long socks since I'm not wearing the long pants today 
is that when you perform the deadlift, you want to try to keep the bar as close to your body as possible. You're actually dragging the bar along your shins, along your thighs as you execute the lift. Um, you don't want the weights to swing in front of you. You have to control the weight. So it's the same way like I was saying when you do the uh, bench press and how you have to load yourself on the bar, you know, tighten your buttocks, have that back arch a little bit because you want to be in control of the weight. You don't want the weight to swing you. This is not like um, when you go out to your car and you try to grab 20 bags of groceries and take them all at once. No, you want to be in control of this love. So that is the reason why I had on a long sock since I didn't wear long pants today because I have that bar to my body as close as possible. So in that way, I can control the lift. Almost like as if the bar is on a set of rails. That's what I feel like as the bar lifts across my shins up to my thighs. Um, another thing, the mixed grip. I'm going to put this down for a second and show you exactly what the mixed grip is. With the mixed grip, I have one overhand grip, and then on the, on the other side of the bar, I have an underhand grip. Um, the way you do the grips are optional. I've seen some people do both overhand. I've seen people do both underhand. Um, I was always taught that when you do the deadlift, that you would do it with a mixed grip. The reason again to do the mixed grip is because for me personally, if I have both of them uh, overhand, I would feel like the bar is pulling me forward. If I have it underhand, I might feel like the bar is bringing me too far back. So by having one overhand and one underhand, now I'm kind of almost again, thinking about being locked in position where I'm not going forward and I'm not going um, backwards. As far as the left or the right, I'm right hand dominant. So I have my right hand and the underhand grip. Um, you know, it might vary from person to person, but I'm more comfortable with having underhand, right-handed, overhand, left-handed. Um, the deadlift is extremely taxing. It is a full body workout. Um, you're going to really feel it even if you're not using that much weight. Um, sometimes I might go into the gym and I might perform eight, six, eight sets of deadlifts with just 185 or sometime maybe 225, maybe, maybe 250 on the bar. And like I said, you're going to feel it because it's a full body exercise because at the beginning of the exercise, you're using your legs in order to lift the weight off the floor. Then at the end of the exercise, you're using all of your upper body, your back, your shoulders, and so on and so forth to, um, to complete the second stage of the lift. Um, I can tell you this much that if you do perform deadlifts on a regular basis, prepare to get big it is going to add size to you. Your back is going to get bigger. Your shoulders is going to get bigger. Your forearms is going to get bigger. Um, if you want to add poundage or meat, slabs of meat to your frame, do the deadlift. If you don't want to get any bigger, don't do the deadlift. But um, I can tell you that when I was doing the deadlifts for... About, um, I had a four month program back last April and my shoulders and back got to the size where I actually had trouble sleeping at night. I had a hard time rolling over. So, um, I'm telling you deadlifts will definitely add size. This should only be the second and final video to deadlift. Of course, if I think of any more tips, I will make another video until the next time.